The Ford government is still getting roasted online over the sale of Greenbelt lands. Ontario Premier Doug Ford says his government is looking to put portions of the land it sold back, but many Ontarians aren't buying it. Ford and his housing minister, Steve Clark, have been trying and failing to move on from the scathing Auditor General report from earlier this month that found that the, the province gave preferential treatment to certain developers when it removed land from the protected Greenbelt. At the end of the day, I, I have one reason, one reason I ran for Premier is to represent the people. Ontario Premier Doug Ford says he represents the people of Ontario. But the people of Ontario are still pretty upset that he and his housing minister thought it was okay to sell off portions of the green belt without asking. Fire Clark! Fire Clark! Provinces protected green belts trending online again today after Ford said the province is looking into returning land that a developer recently sold. In a written statement today, Ford says the government learned that the owner of two parcels in Ajax that were part of the green belt land removal had listed the properties for sale. The premier says the owner did not tell the government it planned to sell and the province is now looking at several options that include giving the land back to the Greenbelt. Ford saying this is a warning to other owners of sites removed from the Greenbelt for housing to meet the government's conditions. The Ontario public, though, not buying it. My assumption is if you put these parcels back in, that's going to make everybody happy and the outrage will fade. This makes me even more outraged, and I doubt that this is going to calm people. One user writing on X saying, Doug Ford sees this as a PR win, but the problem remains he's enriching his developer friends by having them build needless McMansions on the Greenbelt. Ontario First Nation chiefs also weighing in and demanding Ford's government return the land removed for the development. The Chiefs of Ontario saying they have voted unanimously in an emergency meeting to oppose the land swap, the deal violating the Williams Treaties that were settled in 2018. Calls for both Ford and his housing minister Steve Clark to resign over the scandal continue. The Ontario NDP launching a website called Has Steve Clark Resigned Yet? and uploading a video of Clark previously advocating for ministers embroiled in scandals to resign. There are numerous ministers who have stepped down when they've been named in an investigation. My predecessor, Senator Runson, the member for Simcoe Gray, the lib former Liberal uh, Finance Minister, Greg Cerbera, they all left office until the ethical questions that surrounded them had been cleared. Ford has said he has done nothing wrong in the fiasco that has embroiled his government since plans to develop the Green Belt were announced last year.